Good morning. Welcome to 3-Minute Manna. It is good to see you today. In 1 Corinthians chapter 16, at verse 2, uh, Paul is giving orders to the church in Corinth, just as he'd given orders to the churches in Galatia, what they must do. And he says, on the first day of the week, let each of you lay something aside, storing up as he may prosper. It is the authority and the commandment for a weekly collection that the church had work to do, and this was how the church's work was going to be funded. They were continuing on, as Acts chapter 2 says, in the apostles' doctrine. What the Holy Spirit was revealing through the apostles, that is what the disciples were doing. And that is what so many people will not do today. They will not simply do what is authorized in Scripture. The church had work to do. When churches, to use that term loosely, when they have work to do today, how do they fund it? How do they fund it? Do they simply... As scripture says, on the first day of the week, have a weekly free will offering. No, what you see a lot of times is you'll see folks, you'll see churches, right? You'll see churches and they'll advertise some sort of bake sale or some sort of car wash or some sort of plate lunch for $5.99. Can you imagine the Lord and the apostles? Can you imagine them doing that? Can you imagine them making merchandise of people in that way, selling a service for a price. Can you imagine the disciples doing that? Do you see the disciples doing that in the Bible? Of course you don't. You also see churches anymore, you know, they'll start some sort of charity web page, some sort of GoFundMe page. Where's the authority for that in the Bible? Where's the authority for the church to be doing things like that? See, the, the church, what they did was they had a weekly offering. You see churches in this day and age, they're involved in all sorts of matters of business. Just all sorts of matters of business. You know, and it's a sad thing. You see it in the news more and more. You'll actually have churches, um, in, in thinking about the offering, you'll have churches investigating their own members asking for W-2 statements and various tax documents. Can you imagine the Lord and the disciples doing that? It's just preposterous. I don't know why people tolerate that. Um, with where they, with who they worship with. But what you see concerning the offering, if you look in 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and 2 Corinthians chapter 9, concerning, concerning our offering as we lay aside as the Lord has prospered us, Scripture calls it a grace, that that is what it is, that it is a part of God's grace, that it is a testing of the sincerity of our love. That is also what it is. There is a connection between reaping and sowing, and we need to understand that. And there is also a connection between giving and giving of thanks. And we give, as it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, that we give as a matter of generosity, not a grudging obligation. We need to understand and we need to do like the disciples did. We need to abide in the apostles' doctrine because it's the Lord's doctrine. And we need to not think beyond what is written, getting into all sorts of man-made ideas. I hope you have a good day today. Hope you enjoyed this study. Hope you think about it. If you have any questions, let me know. God bless you. Be a blessing to others. We'll see you tomorrow morning.